Now we will talk about <coughs> types of domain walls. And uh, the first type is basically uh, what happens if you have uniaxial anisotropy and cubic anisotropy. When we have the directions <coughs> of magnetization pointing anti-parallel to each other in two neighboring domains, the domain wall in between is a 180 degree domain wall. And this will happen in the case of uh, uniaxial anisotropy. One property of these 180 degree domain walls is that if you apply a stress uh, in this direction, if there is a stress being applied, because the en uh, magnetoelastic energy will be lowered by the same amount in the two domains, it will have no effect on the domain wall. So we see that the 180 degree domain walls are stress insensitive because the decrease in the elastic and magnetoelastic energy is the same. In cubic materials with positive anisotropy, the non 180 degree walls are 90 degree walls. Here you can see a 180 degree domain wall uh, breaking into two 90 degree domain walls. So the magnetization um, basically rotates to be perpendicular to the uh, domain that is neighboring it. And so the neighboring moments are at right angles. In iron 100 uh, easy axis, for example, 90 degree domain walls will exist between 100 and 010 directions. In nickel 111 easy axis, uh, what, uh, what are the non 180 degree domain walls? Well, if you look at the <coughs> body diagonal, which is A square root 3, A is the lattice constant, you find that the angle uh, between the hypotenuse and the uh, body diagonal is uh, as a sine of 1 over square root 3 so that the angle uh, between two body diagonals 2 alpha would be 71 degrees so one possibility is 71 another possibility is 109 degree walls in the 111 directions when we have 90 degree uh, domain walls uh, together in uh, cubic materials, 90 degree plus 180 degree domain walls, they usually make these closure domains. And when you zoom into the, <coughs> the boundaries between uh, these domains, uh, you can see that we have the formation of head to head and tail to tail domains. So if the arrows are pointing towards each other, it's head to head away from each other, it's tail to tail. And uh, here you can see examples of two 90 degree domain walls. One is uh, rotating out of plane and one is rotating in plane. And having said that, we have an important distinction between domain walls in the bulk of uh, magnetic materials and in thin films. In bulk magnetic materials, the magnetization can rotate out of plane. So here you can see it's going into the uh, board and coming out of the board. And you can see that, uh, that we have a uh, three magnetic poles forming at the surface. So that's a block type wall. Uh, on the other hand, in tin films, we have strong in-plane anisotropy. Therefore, the domain wall has to have its moments lying in the plane of the film. And that's what happens in a nail pole. Uh, <clears throat> the three poles will appear along the surface of the wall, but not at the sample surface. So, uh, we talked about types of domain walls, uniaxial anisotropy 180 degree domain walls, cubic anisotropy 180 degree and 90 degree domain walls. Uh, and if we have uh, non, also non 180 degree domain walls are possible. For example, in nickel, when we have the 111 easy axis, we found that it's 71 degree and 109 degree walls. Uh, the, Together, 90 degree and 180 degree domain walls form closure domains and head to head, tail to tail domain wall configurations. In the bulk of magnetic materials, we have block type walls. Magnetization can rotate out of plane. In the tin film case, we have strong in plane anisotropy and nail walls. The magnetization has to rotate in plane.